What is up, Orange family? Coach Tony again, and it's about time to get down on another awesome lower body workout. Now, before you get to work, you're gonna need a couple dumbbells or medium weight objects, a mat, and a towel. Before we get into our first block, we're gonna start off with a three minute dynamic warm up. Got four movements to do, ranging from 30 to 45 seconds each, leading off with your single, single, double jump rope. Now, remember your cadence right, left, right, right left, right, left, left. And that'll lead you into your alternating forward lunge with overhead reach. Now we're gonna open up those hip flexors, pushing forward, big overhead reach, opening up that core as well. Third on the menu, you've got your fire hydrants down on hands and knees, drawing that big circle with that knee, opening up the pelvis. Option here is just reduce the range of the motion, tighten that circle up a little bit. Finally, we have our triple squat walkout. Now remember your cadence will be three full squats all the way up and down. After the last one, you're gonna bend forward, walk those hands into that plank, reset, walk it back in. Your option here, just squat a little more before that walkout. You ready? Time to get sweaty, let's warm it up. Right, you're warm, you're ready. Let's get right into that first block of work. Now, you got six and a half minutes. You're gonna try to get two rounds minimum, four exercises, 12 reps of pop. You're gonna start it off with your sumo goblet squat. Now, you're gonna spend a good amount of time of this block in this position with that wide stance, heels underneath your knees, toes are flared out. On the sumo squat, you're gonna have that dumbbell tight to your chest all the way down throughout that range of motion. Good strength builder. Moving on, you have your dumbbell split stance, single arm low row, hand on the hip, hinge forward, keep that elbow tight and squeeze that shoulder blade in. Third up, you have your body weight frog are going right back to that sumo stance. This time we pop and explode, fingertips to the floor, explode up, catch it, drop down nice and easy. 
Lastly, you got the Gorilla Row. Still in that wide stance, dumbbells on the floor, side to side. Option here, just reduce that range of motion. Block one, let's get into it.
awesome job on that first block. Looks like you're ready to go right into the next one. Again, six and a half minutes, four exercises, 12 reps, just like the previous block. Now, on these four exercises, you wanna take them as pairs. We're gonna start off with our dumbbell lateral lunge to bicep curl. This will be a total body strength builder side to side with your curl in the middle. From there, toss the dumbbells right into your speed skater. Same plane of motion, but this time we are exploding, bounding side to side. From there, hit the deck. We're going for our dumbbell hip bridge, dumbbell on the pelvis. Make sure to hold that squeeze at the top. Throw the dumbbell to the side, going right into your hip bridge march, pulling one knee in deep to the chest. Nice follow-up. Block two, ready to go? Let's get in there and work.
you got the momentum, you got that ball rolling, you got one block left. Let's get to it. Six and a half minutes, two more rounds minimum, four exercises, 12 reps each. We're gonna be starting off with our half kneeling, single arm shoulder press to stand. So down on one knee, shoulder, leg, shoulder, leg, and that's gonna be your cadence. Option here, just bring the dumbbell down to the shoulder before you stand it up. Second up, you're going to your single arm neutral full thruster with rotation. Remember, power from the legs. We're gonna pop up, twisting at the top, side to side. Then you're gonna take it down, reverse crab position for the gymnast. This is core control. Option here, rotate the palms till you find a comfortable position, keeping those heels nice and dug into the floor. Lastly, you have your side plank leg lift. Elbow's gonna be directly underneath the shoulder. And option here is keep that lower leg bent a little bit as it kicks down, but make sure our core stays in the battle, hips stay squared off to the front of the room. You guys ready? Final block, let's get it done.
coming slow Spinning in the afterglow Got it feeling so legs are shaking hopefully they're quaking you did a fantastic job i want to thank you personally for joining me for another awesome lower body workout make sure to stretch in your free time hydrate and get some rest see you next time this love is all right uh-oh the edge just like a fire we can't control it